हेलो एवरीवन सी थर्टीन एन एम आर कार्बन आइसोटोप थर्टीन हैविंग एन अबांडेंस ऑफ वन पॉइंट वन परसेंट वी आर स्टडिंग स्पेक्ट्रोस्कोपी टुडे टॉपिक इज कैलकुलेशन ऑफ केमिकल शिफ्ट प्रीवियस वीडियोस यू कैन चेक आउट फॉर द डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ एन एम आर सो लेट एस स्टार्ट the chemical shift of various carbons can be empirically calculated by adding the additive shifts due to alpha beta gamma substituents to the base value for today we will be doing for alkanes methane absorbs at minus 2.5 ppm normal range for alkanes is 0 to 60 ppm the chemical shift the chemical shift of alkanes is dependent on the attachment of electronegative groups and on the steric environment the c13 chemical shifts of carbon are shifted upfield due to gamma guge interaction calculation of chemical shifts of individual c13 atoms in a straight chain or branched chain hydrocarbons can be calculated based on this formula that is delta is equal to minus 2.5 which is known as the base value plus epsilon na where n stands for the number of carbon atoms for each shift parameter and a stands for the additive shift parameter so let us do this with some examples the first one here is 3 methyl pentane let us write it down 3 methyl pentane here 1 2 3 4 five and six for alkanes these are some of the chemical shifts of alkanes we can use them while doing our calculations now here it contains four chemically non equivalent carbons therefore we are going to get four signals now let us see the chemical shift that is delta for first carbon c1 for c1 this will be alpha this will be beta this will be gamma or this this will be beta this will be gamma and this will be delta so chemical shift for carbon 1 will be 1 alpha carbon 1 alpha carbon 1 beta carbon 2 gamma carbon and 1 delta carbon therefore chemical shift of carbon 1 will be equal to 1 alpha carbon alpha carbon has 9.1 first we will add this base value that is we have to add the base value that is minus 2.5 plus 1 alpha carbon 1 into alpha carbon is plus 9.1 plus 1 into beta carbon is 9.4 plus 2 into gamma carbon is minus 2.5 plus 1 into delta carbon is 0.3 so the value comes at 11.3 this value 
is calculated value and when experimentally the re resonance was recorded we got the observed value at 11.5 which is there which is very much near the calculated value that that means there is very less difference of about just 0.2 hence this calculation is valid now let us see the chemical shift of carbon 2 C2 carbon in 3 methyl pentane has for C2 carbon this is alpha this is alpha so therefore this will be beta this is alpha therefore this will be beta and this will be gamma so C2 carbon has 1 2 2 alpha plus 1 2 2 beta plus 1 gamma carbon and c2 is a secondary carbon which is attached that is 2 degree carbon which is attached to 1 tertiary carbon so plus it will be secondary carbon attached to tertiary carbon now let us calculate two alpha carbons first write down the base value minus 2.5 plus 2 into 9.1 plus 2 into 9.4 plus 1 into minus 2.5 plus second degree that is second degree three degree carbon so 1 into minus 2.5 two degree three degrees Minus two point five. The answer will be twenty nine point five. So chemical shift for carbon two is twenty nine point five. This is calculated value. But when we observe it experimentally, it is found to be twenty nine point five, which is very much exact to the calculated value. so again this observation this calculation is valid in the same way we do chemical shift value we find the chemical shift calculated value for carbon 3 and carbon 6 this two will be same like this so carbon 3 and carbon 6 chemical shift for c3 will be base value plus 3 alpha carbons Plus two beta carbons, plus two gamma carbons, and three degree carbon attached to secondary carbon. Add this on on addition, we find that the uh, calculated value is thirty six point two, which is very much near the observed value that is thirty six point nine. chemical shift for carbon 6 will be base value minus 2.5 plus it has got one alpha carbon two beta carbons two gamma carbons and it is it itself is a primary carbon attached to one tertiary carbon that is 3 degree 1 is to 3 degree so on uh, calculation it is observed that it is 19.3 which is very much near to the experimental value that is 18.8 
So again, these calculations are valid. I will show how to calculate the C6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 pentane which is attached here. So in all 6 carbons, when we are counting, when we are counting the chemical shift for carbon 6, that is this carbon, this becomes alpha, therefore this becomes beta, this becomes gamma, this becomes alpha, so this becomes beta, this becomes gamma, this itself is a primary carbon attached to one tertiary carbon. So therefore we have 1, 2, 2 gamma, 1, 2, 2 beta and only 1 alpha. This is the way we do the calculations. Thanks for watching.